imagine making the decision to stay in Houston because you think that Hurricane Harvey isn't going to stay around long. Imagine hearing that a Category 1 storm is going to hit your country and then waking up hours later to a looming Category 5. Global warming is going to make these situations a lot more frequent. The purpose of my speech today is to persuade you on the negative effects that global warming is going to have on hurricanes. I chose this topic because hurricanes are a very destructive force and if what we are doing is making that force more destructive then it needs to be known. I will speak on the effects of greenhouse gases on ocean on our oceans, how that likely will affect hurricanes, and I'll attempt to ease any skepticism you may have about the studies that I'm going to cite. By the end of my speech, I hope that you are more aware that any greenhouse gas emitting activities are going to contribute to the deadly phenomenon of hurricanes. Now let's observe how global warming is affecting our oceans. So the oceans, the ocean absorbs vast amounts of energy and plays a key role in stabilizing Earth's climate. The Earth gets most of its heat from sunlight, but it, it's also supplemented by clouds, water vapor, and greenhouse gases. According to climate.gov, 90% of the warming that's occurred on Earth, that has occurred on Earth, has occurred within the last 50 years, showing how our increased use of fossil fuels has accelerated warming. Greenhouse gases are preventing heat from leaving Earth's atmosphere, leading to more absorption of heat by the ocean. Heat does leave the ocean, but as of now, the rate of absorption is greater than the rate that the heat is leaving the ocean. So the ocean is consistently getting warmer. This is going to lead to uh, rising sea levels, glaciers are going to melt, and eventually Earth's atmosphere will begin to warm at an accelerated rate. Now that you know that, now that you know how global warming is affecting the oceans, let's observe how hurricanes are affected. According to studies by Van Oldenborg, Risser, and Winter, it is concluded that Hurricane Harvey's extreme rainfall is likely due to the effects of global warming. Warmer atmospheres hold more water vapor, so that leads to enhanced rainfall rates. According to study, a study by Knudsen, rainfall rates are expected to increase 10 to 15 percent, and hurricane intensities are expected to increase by 4 percent by the end of the century. Based on those studies and many, many more, it is concluded that it is likely that future hurricanes will have higher rainfall rates and be more intense. Because of sea levels rising, as the ocean's ice melts, storm surges will become higher, meaning that hurricanes that do achieve landfall will be more destructive upon landfall. According to Bender and Nutson, the, lifetime, the maximum lifetime intensity of hurricanes is going to increase by 5% during the 21st century, meaning that hurricanes will be at their maximum destructive potential for a longer amount of time. Now that we've talked about global warm, what global warming is doing to our oceans and how that is affecting hurricanes, let's take a look at how this data was obtained and what could cause some skepticism. According to According to studies by Bender, when you account for all the advances in technology for storm tracking, there is no compelling evidence that hurricane frequency overall has or will increase. Basically, what this means is that there were many missed hurricanes in the past because of the lack of technology, and when you do account for that, there is really no change in how many hurricanes have occurred in that span. Even with frequency expected to remain similar to what it is now, category four and five hurricanes are expected to become more frequent relative to the general frequency. The studies I stated earlier in my speech made conclusions based off of simulations, advanced simulations, which is why they are 
all based on likeliness. Simulations were used because these changes are not yet detectable and according to Bender won't be detectable for a number of dec decades. Even so, understanding that warm water is what fuels hurricanes, you can draw conclusions that as the, as the Earth's oceans warm, hurricanes will become more dangerous. Now that I've covered how global warming is affecting our oceans, how that correlates to hurricanes, and how you can use the data gathered from the simulation to form your own opinions, I hope you are on the side of decreasing the rate of human contribution to global warming. Though it may be less frequent, a stronger hurricane can be the difference between Houston being flooded in areas or being completely underwater. Please be more aware of your environment. Thank you.